All right, what's up you guys? So I wanna start off with telling you guys that the videos that I make are the ones that I think are very important and that people on YouTube have not made yet, okay? Um, and maybe they have made them, but I have not seen them or they're very not emphasized. They're, they haven't been emphasized enough, you know? So if, if there's an example like, oh, how to squat or stuff like that, I don't wanna make a video like that because I'm sure there's somebody out there, there's so many videos, and I'm sure somebody even does it even better than me. So I just wanna make videos that people have, have not heard about and that I think are very important. The topic of, of today is gonna to be what four exercises to be doing when you do upper body, okay? So this comes to anybody, whether you're a bodybuilder, whether your goal is just to lose weight or just tone up. I really don't even like that word, tone up. But anyways, if you want to tone up, you know, you just want to get a little bit of muscle, you know, look okay. Um, this is the exercise that everybody should be doing. So I say everyone because these four exercises pretty much hit every muscle part of your body. Okay, so from all the, the exercises to choose from, um, you know, I have been told, oh, so what do you think? What exercise is better or this and that? So the exercises... Um, there are so many when it comes to machines, dumbbells, barbells, you know. So really, there is no specific exercise that everybody should be doing. But there's two things that everybody should be working around, which are the planes. Okay, so there is two planes are important. So by I mean planes, I mean like, so this is the horizontal plane, you know, the horizon. So the horizontal plane and the vertical plane are the two planes that are important when you're working on your upper body. Okay, so I say this because, okay, if you do, if you do a bench press, okay, if you do a bench press, just say this is the floor. I'm laying down you're pushing this way okay so you're pushing this way so that means that you're pushing in the horizontal plane okay so you you have to do the workouts the four exercises that I'm telling you are just two in the hor horizontal plane and two in the vertical plane okay so when we're doing the bench press we're pushing this way in the horizontal plane so that means you're hitting your tricep you're hitting your chest your upper chest your shoulder in the front Okay, so now the second exercise to do in the horizontal plane is a horizontal pull. Okay, so whenever you get a machine where you just sit down and pull or if you get a, um, yeah, pretty much a machine, you could, if you could get a bench and get under where you could just pull like this. Any, any movement, you know, if you lay on a, in a on the bench and use a, a dumbbell and then you pull this way, um, you're working in the horizontal plane. So when you pull like this, you're hitting all of your back, you're hitting your, you're pulling with your bicep, bam, you're hitting all your back, the rear delts. And so with that, it's gonna be building the, the muscles, like the thickness sort of, of of your back, the thickness. You could consider, you could think about it that way, the thickness. Okay, so now those are the two exercises in the horizontal plane. Now in the vertical plane, now that's when you do like a, a dumbbell overhead press. So you sit down on the machine and then you, you press up. So when you press up, now you're working in the vertical, in the vertical plane. So you press up, so you could be doing dumbbells, grab the dumbbells, do this, you know, you could do it standing, you could do it sitting, you could go in the machine where you sit and you just press up. But when you press up, you're working in the vertical plane, so now you're working on your shoulders. So when you push up, it's shoulders. You're working on your triceps, and pretty much your shoulders, triceps, and yeah, a little bit of uh, your, the chest. You know, for the most part, that overhead press that we're doing is for your shoulders, and then your your triceps are working. Now the second exercise in the vertical plane is going to be the lat pull down or a pull up. When you do a pull up, you're like hanging and you're pulling this way. So you're pulling this way in the vertical plane. So when you do a pull up or you sit down on that machine, when you sit down and you grab the bar and you pull like this, now, now you're doing the, the pull in the vertical plane. So those the, three, 
Now those four exercises are pretty much the only thing that you need to do to work out all your muscles of your upper body. Okay, so for me, when I go into the gym, I work out full upper body. Okay, so for sure, I do, I do my, my dumbbell press, I do a pull, I do one of these, and I do pull-ups. So those are the four exercises. So after that, if I have energy or if I have time, then I'll, you know, I'll do some biceps, maybe some, some tricep pull-downs or some abs. But for the most part, those are the four exercises that I do. And for a while, that's all I was doing for like the almost a year. I've only been doing those. Um, you don't have to work out your arms directly just to if you want to just have a okay physique, you know, like a beach, uh, beach physique, you know. So I just started working on my arms just maybe a lot last month, you know, slightly. I haven't really gone any heavy because I wasn't doing it because I, I had some elbow pain. I got some tendonitis. So I stopped doing direct arm work, you know, so pretty much like the, the arm size that I have right now, you know, that's that's pretty much just from those four movements that I told you. Now, little by little, I'm throwing in a little bit of biceps and maybe now my arms are going to get a little bit bigger. OK, so, of course, if your goal is just to have big old arms, then, yeah, you're going to have to do a lot of arm work just by itself. But if you just want to have decent arms, you know, a nice physique, you know, you don't want to fucking go compete and be a, a professional bodybuilder, then just doing those four movements is perfect. So that wraps up for the video. Hope you like it. Um, hope you find it useful. Um, and if you like the video, please press that button at the bottom. Um, press the like button. Um, and then you could always follow me on, on Instagram, Optimus underscore Javi. Um, and if you guys have any questions that you guys want to ask me, um, and I think that I could make a video out of it. You know, it's something not so simple. Um, and I could just explain on it. Just let me know. Comment at the bottom. And I'll make a video. All right. See you guys later. Bye.